It gives me pleasure to welcome all the newly elected members of the Legislative Assembly to the inaugural session of the Assembly. We gather here after the successful and peaceful conduct of the first democratic elections in over a decade. These elections, the first since the abrogation of Article 370 in August 2019 and the reorganization of Jammu and Kashmir into a union territory are a critical milestone in restoring democratic governance after a period of political uncertainty. This is a testament to the enduring spirit of democracy, the strength of our institutions, and the faith that the people of this region have in their democratic representation through this assembly. It is a privilege to witness the restoration of this august house, which once again reflects the aspirations of the people of Jammu and Kashmir. One of the most encouraging aspects of 2024 elections was the high voter turnout, reflecting the enduring faith of the people in democratic processes. The high turnout, particularly in regions that traditionally could not participate fully because of a vociferous minority sympathetic to separatist sentiments, indicates that the people of Jammu and Kashmir continue to see electoral participation as a means to voice their concerns and aspirations. The successful completion of the electoral process marks an epoch in the history of Jammu and Kashmir. This gathering and the swearing in of elected government in Jammu and Kashmir marks a moment of immense pride as, as it has not only strengthened the democratic fabric of our nation, but has also become a beacon of hope to all for a brighter and more inclusive future. For me personally, this is a moment of huge satisfaction when I assumed the responsibility of leading the administration four years ago. My foremost priority was to hold assembly elections so that there is an elected government. With the support of our political leaders, civil administration, security forces, Election Commission of India, and most importantly, the people, we have successfully achieved this objective. This accomplishment is a matter of great satisfaction as I look forward to work together with you all for strengthening the democratic institutions and providing the people the governance and the future they deserve. Our people now look up to the government with many hopes and expectations. My government is fully geared up to realize these hopes and fulfill these expectations. The aspiration for a return to the statehood remains strong. Honorable Prime Minister on several occasions has already expressed his commitment to restoring statehood, which has been a source of rekindled hope and reassurance for the people. The Council of Ministers of Jammu and Kashmir has recently passed a unanimous resolution calling for the immediate restoration of statehood. This resolution reflects the collective will of the elected representatives echoing the aspirations of the people for the reinstatement of full democratic governance. My government will make all efforts for restoration of full statehood and constitutional guarantees available to the state. It would be a befitting reciprocation of the faith reposed by the people of Jammu and Kashmir in our democratic institutions. In the meantime, I urge all stakeholders to work together as one team and extend full support to my government in fulfilling the hopes and aspirations of the people. My government is fully committed to implementing the promises made to the people for further political empowerment and for creating an enabling environment for employment, sustainable development, social inclusiveness, and expansion of the economy for enhancing the overall quality of life. It will work relentlessly on the three principles of economy, ecology, and equity that will shape our future. We commit ourselves to this balance for a better and brighter future for all. Jammu and Kashmir is growing at an annual growth rate of about 7%. My government is committed to give push to this trajectory of growth and create more revenues of employment through policy interventions and infrastructure development. My government will also work on various reforms to strengthen the fiscal position of JNK, huge natural resources endowed 
in JNK will be sustainably developed without harming our ecosystem that will ensure protection of these resources. Further, every section as well as every region of JNK will be treated equally and developed for ensuring inclusiveness and equity for balanced development, which will be a solemn and sacred commitment of my government. I believe that the new legislators, the administration, and all other stakeholders will work together to handle the challenges before us for a better and prosperous society. My government is committed to decision making that will, that will be marked with transparency and accountability for ensuring efficient and effective use of resources with justification. This policy will be applied rigorously by my government to ensure integrity in public life. Any inefficient use or misallocation of resources will be re-examined and necessary course correction will be undertaken to ensure that the benefits of every penny are fully harnessed by the people of Jammu and Kashmir. My government will invest in building capacities of the youth for their gainful employment and will also foster their entrepreneurial capacities. The expectations of the people for improved living facilities like roads, public transportation, electricity, drinking water, sanitation, schools, healthcare facilities, healthy and congenial environment, internet connectivity, etc., which enable them to lead a happy life will also be fulfilled. Connectivity is crucial for the economy. While improvements have been made in the road network, more efforts are required to connect the remaining inaccessible areas. My government with will fully leverage funds from centrally sponsored schemes like PMGSY and NABAD funded programs to realize the vision of connectivity every habitation with the road. Implementation of major ongoing connectivity projects will be fast-tracked by facilitating acquisition of land, forest clearances and removal of encroachments. Ongoing expressway, national highway and ring road projects of, for Jammu and Srinagar cities will be speeded up for their early completion. Work on the upgradation and consolidation of the Jammu Akhnur Rajauri Punch National Highway will be expedited for its early completion. New national highway projects will be taken up by the central government to improve connectivity to remote and backward pockets to accelerate economic growth. Connectivity of rail to the valley, which will be a really, which will be a reality soon will be a turning point for economic development and prosperity. Night landing facilities at Jammu and Srinagar airports will further enhance connectivity and boost the tourism sector further. My government will take all necessary measures to ensure that the development dividend of these initiatives reaches the remotest pockets and uplifts their lives and livelihood. My government will pursue implementation of projects for rail connectivity to important unconnected areas, including the border districts of Rajauri and Punch with the Government of India. My government is committed to provide 200 units of free electricity to deserving households for which modalities are being worked out. JNK is endowed with abundance of water resources that are yet to be harnessed fully. My government is committed to harnessing their full potential so that their economic dividend enhances people's lives and JNK financial position. My government will seek the support of the Government of India for a significant leap forward in our energy sector. Completion of four mega hydroelectric power projects with sanctioned capacity of 3014 megawatts will be expedited for doubling the hydropower generation capacity by 2026 to not only make JNK self-sufficient in power, but also to enable us to generate revenue from these vital green resources. Another four mega hydroelectric power projects of 1,818 megawatts will be followed rigorously to get the work on these power generating projects started. The Rangarajan Committee report crafted under the guidance of former RBI Governor Dr. C. Rangarajan in 2011 recommended a roadmap for creating jobs and enhancing economic growth in Jammu and Kashmir. My government will pursue the implementation of the report with the Government of India to address structural issues in the economy, support skill-building initiatives, and stimulate inclusive growth. 
effective collaboration with the Government of India would be essential to mobilize resources, funding and requisite support necessary for realizing many of these reforms. My Government will solarize all Government buildings with a tentative cumulative capacity of 300 megawatts. Under the PM Surya Ghar Muft Bijli Yojana, 84,000 households will be solarized initially. Small hydropower projects will also be given the required focus to harness their full potential. My Government is committed to providing free, clean and safe drinking water to all. To achieve this, 3,256 water supply schemes at an estimated cost of more than rupees 13,000 crore are under execution, which will provide functional household type connections to all the 19.27 lakhs rural households. This will be completed by March 2025 for quality assurance of drinking water, NABL accredited labs will be established at appropriate levels. Tourism sector is a major pillar of the economy of JNK, which can boost various services and, and, and industrial sectors like transport, hospitality, horticulture, and small scale industry, thereby generating incomes and job opportunities for the local population. My government will ensure that all benefits are extended to the tourism sector as an industry. This will ensure that this sector witnesses requisite growth in investment for improving tourism infrastructure and services. My government will focus on enhancing the quality of tourist experience and devise appropriate interventions to manage the tourist inflow. Concerted efforts will be made for accelerated development of new tourist destinations both in Kashmir as well as Jammu so that the immense untapped potential of our beautiful landscape is harnessed for improving the experience of the tourists and lives and livelihoods of the locals. Work on Tavi Barrage project and artificial lake is also in full swing and likely to be completed soon, which will enhance tourism potential of Jammu city. The upcoming railway connectivity to Kashmir, expected to be fully operational soon, will indeed provide a significant boost to tourism in both Kashmir and the Peer Panjal region. JK Industrial Policy 2021-30 has been notified for encouraging private investment and to boost the industrial sector. New central sector package of Rs. 28,400 crores is also available for encouraging new investments. My government will ensure that requisite infrastructure for the development of industrial units is made available on priority. Subsidized industrial land is transparently allotted and it actually translate, translates in attracting new investment, creating employment opportunities for the locals, develop backward regions and expand existing industrial units. The Council of Ministers of Jammu and Kashmir has recently passed a unanimous resolution for reviewing the JNK Industrial Policy 2130 to achieve this objective. My government will develop 46 new industrial estates with all the modern facilities to attract industries and enhance job opportunities. These new initiatives will spur employment, avenues and enhance economic growth. Further focus will also be on development of industrial parks or clusters to provide shared facilities and resources, making it easier for small and medium enterprises to thrive. A suitable procurement policy to further support the MSMEs will also be introduced. Reform process will be further strengthened for ease of doing business. My government will promote circular, circular economy by encouraging industries to adopt sustainable practices and technologies that minimize environmental impact and waste. Agro-based industries will be developed to utilize local resources sustainably. Handloom and handicraft sector will be given impetus, including through e-commerce platforms to increase the production and exports. GI tagging of crafts will be promoted to provide them markets at world level. My government will continue supporting local artisans by providing them with better access to market and credit to promote traditional crafts besides facilitating marketing of local products through tra trade fairs, exhibitions and online platforms. Srinagar was designated a UNESCO Creative City of Crafts and Folk Art in 2021. This recognition acknowledges Srinagar's rich heritage and excellence in crafts, 
particularly its world-renowned Kashmiri handicraft. As part of UNESCO's Creative Cities Network, Srinagar joined a select group of cities worldwide recognized for fostering innovation and creativity as strategic factors for sustainable urban development. My government is committed to providing a state of the art healthcare facilities to the citizens of Jammu and Kashmir. Healthcare facilities and services in rural, rural areas focusing on maternal and child health will further improve. Critical care blocks will be established in districts for strengthening of emergency services. The healthcare sector in Jammu and Kashmir is set to undergo significant advancement as the government prioritizes the expansion of medical education and health services. This initiative aims to enhance the quality of accessibility of health care for the people of the region. My government will focus on increasing MBBS, PG and nursing seats and will add new tertiary care services and advanced courses for strengthening the health care facilities at tertiary level. It is, it is committed to enhancing the health care landscape in Jammu and Kashmir by focusing on two crucial aspects, attracting the best medical professionals to newly established institutions and addressing the challenge of brain drain from the region. This approach aims to build a sustainable and high quality healthcare system that meets the needs of the population. My government will focus on strengthening primary health care services for making available medical treatment and drugs at the grassroots level, preventive diagnosis, screening will be carried forward for timely diagnosis of the non-communicable diseases and their treatment. Universal health coverage will be carried forward with better services for the benefit of common masses. My government will create the Chief Minister's Medical Trust for providing financial assistance to the needy for terminal diseases, diseases like cancer, heart and kidney transplants. Facilities for dialysis will be created at subdivision level to meet the rising need for it in recent times. The drug manac in JNK represents a complex challenge intertwined with the socio-economic factors and historical context. Drug abuse in JNK has risen over the past decade, particularly affecting the youth. While efforts have been made to combat this issue through law enforcement and rehabilitation in initiatives, the problem continues to remain a challenge. The overarching goal is to not only reduce drug dependency in JNK, but also to create a robust system that addresses the root cause, causes of drug abuse and fosters a supportive environment for rehabilitation and reintegration. By integrating law enforcement with community-based prevention and mental health services, my government is committed to building a health, healthier, drug-free future for its citizens by leading a war against drug abuse. My government is aiming to transform JNK into an educational hub, focusing on attracting investment and employment opportunities. The establishment of IIT Jammu and IIM Jammu marks a significant milestone in the, in the advancement of higher education in Jammu and Kashmir. These premier institutions are set to play a transformative role in nurturing talent, fostering innovation, and driving economic growth in the region. Additionally, the upcoming operationalization of the Srinagar campus of IIM Jammu from its dedicated building will further enhance access to quality management education in this region. Infrastructure of colleges and universities will be strengthened besides providing adequate manpower. Research facilities for faculty and students will be focused as part of National Education Policy 2020. Innovation, incubation and entrepreneurship will be encouraged in inculcating startup culture among the students. My government recognizes the importance of digital learning tools such as smart classrooms to support a modern student-centric educational environment. It will implement innovative initiatives of National Education Policy 2020, aimed to create a learner-centric, inclusive, and future-ready education system to ignite the young minds with creative potential for their holistic development and self-realization. This will equip the students with the necessary competencies to thrive in the rapidly changing global landscape. Basic infrastructure in the schools will be further strengthened 
and management of the schools will be strengthened through cluster management, evidence-based approaches to learning will be encouraged for enhancement of learning outcomes at all levels. Policies and programs specifically aim at ensuring access to quality education for girls, differently abled children, and other marginalized communities will be devised. Vocational labs will be established in all high higher secondary schools, hotel tinkering labs, ICT labs, innovation labs, smart classrooms initiatives will be further promoted for developing skills of the students. Student health will be given priority and regular health checkups will be carried out to address nutritional and health concerns. My government will strive to create world-class sports infrastructure to promote sports activities and to tap the constructive and creative energy of the youth in sports optimally. Holistic development of youth will be focused on to prevent youth from falling prey to anti-social activities and dr drug menace. My government will provide opportunities, facilities and counselling to increase the women's participation in games. Women athletes have secured medals and appreciations at national and international level in the field of football, martial arts, etc., which will, be, which will be promoted further. My government will lay emphasis on organizing national and international sports events to, so to showcase the talent of youth of Jammu and Kashmir and highlight the region's potential at national and international level. Agriculture and allied sectors constitute the backbone of Jammu and Kashmir's economy. Engaging half of its workforce. JNK has 13 lakh farmer families with sustainable percentage belonging to economically weaker and marginal sections. My government is committed to promote farmers' welfare and enhance their income through transformative initiatives that promote a sustainable, organic, regenerative and holistic practice for profitable agricultural economy. Implementation of the Holistic Agriculture Development Program featuring 29 comprehensive projects spanning agriculture, horticulture and livestock will be accelerated, modernization and innovation will be brought in, deep value chains will be de developed, competitive advantages will be harnessed and climate resilient and sustainable agriculture will be promoted. These initiatives will result in increased seed replacement rate, creation of adequate CA storage, doubling of silkworm seed production, cash crops diversification, saffron, medicinal and aromatic plant cultivation, self-reliance in vegetables, oil seed production, creation of FPOs, increase in honey milk, mutton, poultry, mushroom, fodder and millet, and nutty cereals production. Further clusters will be developed for milk, vegetables, meat, basmati, walnut, cherries and trout, etc. Through this program, my government will create about 3 lakhs jobs and 19,000 additional enterprises. Spurious seeds, fertilizers and pesticides are a manic threatening both our agriculture and horticulture, as well as our ecology. Apart from upgrading and expanding the testing infrastructure, the available testing infrastructure will be fully utilized to ensure that quality agri-chemicals only are used as inputs and strict legal actions will be taken against the peddlers of these spurious inputs. My government will also promote modern farming techniques such as precision agriculture, drone technology and data analytics to enhance crop in management, advanced irrigation system including drip and sprinkle irrigation alongside micro irrigation technologies will be promoted to optimize water uses. High yielding and disease resistant Seed varieties coupled with organic farming practices will be promoted to improve soil health and minimize chemical use. High density plantations will be supported along with the development of cold storage facilities and transport, transportation network to minimize post-harvest losses. Additionally, my government will enhance access to affordable agricultural credit with a fully online end-to-end -end credit package Comprehensive crop insurance schemes for both agriculture and horticultural crops will be taken forward to safeguard farmers against climate-induced risks and other unforeseen challenges, providing them financial security during adverse conditions. 
to further support farmers the government is establishing a network of 2000 kisan khidmat ghars across jammu and kashmir which will offer a single window system for all agricultural services at the community level my government will establish one primary agricultural credit society packs in each panchayat so that it operates inclusively and support local economy artisans and weavers will be covered under credit card schemes with an attractive interest subvention of 7% for a period of 5 years efforts will be made to further enhance the irrigation facilities for agriculture and horticulture my government will propose new projects under pradhan mantri krishi sinchai yojana har khet ko pani substantial irrigation substantial irrigation potential will be created work on sahapur kandi dam project is in full swing and jnk is expected to get 1150 cusacks of water from ravi river this initiative will be followed rigorously so that the farmers get benefited urbanization is a very powerful engine of economic growth and social progress comprehensive urban planning framework that incorporates sustainability cultural heritage and environmental considerations will be developed by my government to harness full potential of this powerful force urban local bodies will be further empowered to take decisions that reflect community needs and priorities my government will strive to develop and enhance basic urban infrastructure with focus on strengthening governance at grassroots to closest to the citizen making them instrumental in planning and delivering various services which the people in urban areas aspire for better service delivery and timely disposal of of forty online urban services will be ensured and these will be integrated with single window portal all efforts will be made to further improve quality and number of services intelligent traffic management system will be strengthened sustainable and eco friendly public transport systems including electric and water transport will be promoted solid and liquid waste management system will be strengthened to make ut environment friendly and pollution free affordable housing will be made available to the deserving sections of the society preservation and conservation of water bodies is a top priority top priority conservation of dal lake nagin lake and pollution a lot abatement of various rivers along with development of eco friendly and sustainable tourist villages in the surrounds will be taken up on priority my government will ensure implementation of all the rural house say sanction under pradhan mantri awas yojana gramin left but deserving families will also be supported with housing assistance government will ensure 100% coverage convergence for making available pmayg houses with all basic amenities besides conducting 100% social audit of all pmayg housing units my government will expand and streamline the social assistance programs for vulnerable groups including the elderly disabled underprivileged downtrodden backward and vulnerable sections of the society and low income families women empowerment is one of the priority areas of the government for which various projects and schemes will be further strengthened which will enable them to secure education health and nutrition skill development and employability to attain economic independence for empowering marginalized communities reservation benefits have been extended to economically weaker sections obcs valmikis pahadis padris kolis gadda brahmins etc and forest right act 2006 has also been made operational the government will also take major initiatives for welfare of scheduled tribes in the areas of health education skill development culture literature infrastructure development and livelihood besides granting forest rights to the tribal community the tribal research institute building and tri hostel at kimber srinagar will also be made functional for the welfare of scheduled tribe population more transit accommodations will be established for nomadic tribal population which includes accommodation for 150 to 200 families community kitchens medical dispensaries veterinary dispensaries community toilets and livestock yards 
302 villages will be developed under Pradhan Mantri Yadi Adars Gram Yojana in JNK where, where under milk villages, mini sheep, goat farms, dairy units, beekeeping units will be established for ST beneficiaries to improve their living standard. For preservation of natural resources and greenery, various eco parks and green patches will be developed in each urban local body. My government will make efforts to complete second phase of Jammuju at the earliest by adding more closures. Infrastructure at wetlands like Harana, Hokalsar and Salabgu and Salabag will also be developed for promotion of ecotourism. Government will focus on conservation and rejuvenation of water lake to enhance the livelihood of local people through ecotourism. All the vacancies in the government sector will be identified and filled up on fast track basis. My government is committed to expedite the process of campus and appointments as well. My government is well aware that entrepreneurship landscape in JNK is diverse with, with 94% micro enterprises which are facing challenges at various levels to be competitive. My government aims to revitalize this sector for creating employment opportunities for the youth through proper policy interventions and business support system up to the grassroots level. Suitable interventions for developing a skilled workforce equipped with 21st century skills, ensuring equitable distribution of economic benefits, especially for women, youth, and marginalized community will be put in place. Financial support through various self-employment schemes will be further strengthened for enabling youth to undertake self-employment ventures. Outreach and counseling activities will be conducted for aspiring job seekers through model career centers. My government will make efforts to rehabilitate Kashmiri migrants back into the valley with dignity for which safe and secure environment will be created. Work on transit accommodation projects for Kashmiri migrants employees will be speeded up for providing them suitable accommodation at designated, at designated places. Technology will be used for facilitating promotion of peculiarities of local culture, architecture, art, literature and languages through a robust digital platform. Historical monuments, sacred places and heritage sites will be revived, restored and preserved through a value-based approach. My government will argument my government will augment support for development and promotion of traditional crafts and arts with global marketing efforts for ensuring sustainability. For ensuring transparency and accountability, technology will be used fully. More services will be added to already 1140 online services that are available. Grievance redressal mechanism will be further strengthened to ensure accountability, transparency and fairness in service delivery. Panchayat Raj institutions and urban local bodies will be strengthened by conducting elections at all levels for ensuring people's participation in the decision making. Jammu and Kashmir is at a pivotal moment in its history, standing on the threshold of a transformative era filled with immense promise and opportunity. This transformation is not merely a governmental endeavor. It is a collective journey that calls for unity and shared purpose across all communities, institutions and sections of society. Today, as we embark on this journey, I call upon each one of you to play an active and committed role in building a prosperous, inclusive and forward-looking Jammu and Kashmir. This should be done with unity of purpose and commitment to uplifting the lives of the people of Jammu and Kashmir without any occasion for partisanship of any hue. Our goal is Jammu and Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir where every individual has the opportunity to thrive, where prosperity is shared and where every citizen can reach their full potential. Together, let us work to create a society where economic growth is inclusive, where social harmony prevails and where opportunities are abundant for all regardless of background. A prosperous and vibrant Jammu and Kashmir is within our reach and it is up to each one of us to contribute
to this historic transformation. In unity and shared purpose, let us move forward with hope and determination for building a brighter future for all of Jammu and Kashmir. Thank you. Jai Hind.